Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my video review of their Model 3010 analog multimeter where you're going to get accurate analog measurements. This product gets excellent customer ratings. Comes with the 9 volt battery you're going to need and the two AAA batteries and the test leads and the unit itself. Now what's nice about this, it has a stand built in. This is oversized which is nice. Most of these are smaller. The advantage is that you have a large scale so you get more accuracy. Even has a mechanical uh, rotation piece right there if you want to mechanically line it up but it comes already lined up. You've got your ohmmeter adjustment right there. We're going to show you that. You've got your common and your voltage and AC and DC inputs and your DC 10 amp right there. And all the switch moves across to all the different settings. Very solid feeling. And it also has a transistor tester on there. We're going to test that. We can measure the HFE or the gain of your transistors, NPN or PNP. That's nice to see also because I still do analog circuitry and would like to know if a transistor is working. There you can see the brand right there, Victor 3010. And uh, look at the, at the scale right here. Let's do a close up of You can see that it has uh, the green, the black, the red. And you can see the green on top is your ohms. The black is DC and AC voltage. And on the very most bottom right there, there is decibel. And you could put AC voltage into here at one kilohertz or less. And you can get the decibel equivalent of the AC voltage. And that's nice to see if you're doing some kind of analog work with audio. That's a great way. The HFE scale is on there. What they're going to do, they're going to forward by the NPN or PNP, and they're going to let you see the HFE of that transistor on there. You also have DC amps. You can see the red right there, where you're going to be putting in the DC amps right there. So let's give this thing a test. We're going to first put the batteries in that it comes with, and it looks like you open it back right there and install the batteries. And there's the cover off. There's the 9 volt battery you connect there, and there's the two AAA batteries that they've included that you put to get this to work. So one of the first simple tests I'm going to show, I've got the minus and the common, the plus, and I have it on the tone right there. This is continuity, and it lets you test the continuity of something metal, like a wire. Here's just an example right here. And it comes out instantaneous because it is connected directly to it. There's no delay like sometimes in a, a digital multimeter. Then you have resistance. you got times 1, times 10. And uh, you could calibrate it right here. And then you go to that particular resistance range. And you could rotate this dial to get it just right. And then you could put resistance on there. And you could measure the actual resistance. So let's just give an example of that. I have a resistance box right here. And let's just connect this up as an experiment. So let's see, I'm on low right there. So right here I've got the resistance values and I can click this and I can see the resistance showing up right on the display right there. There is 100 ohms, and that correlates to the 100 ohms that's on there. So, really simple to use. Just pick the right times 1, or times 20, times 1,000. Pick the correct one, zero it out, and then you could accurately measure resistance on this meter. I love this analog display. I love that it's oversized. Um, it's just really nice to see something like that. And what's nice is because this has a real switch, these batteries are going to last a really long time in there because it doesn't have the digital switch that's typically used in a digital meter and this will use energy and eventually this will discharge and you've got to charge it. Here that's not the case because it is a battery. Here I have a voltmeter and I'm going into the meter 6.6 .6 volts on the meter right there, the digital display and I'm on 10 volts and you look at the 10 volt scale right there and it's showing 6.6 .6. so you get an accurate reading for DC measurements on the meter quite nicely so here's an example of measuring current I have a resistance box right here high power very low resistance and I have 1.3 volts and you see it's about two tenths of an amp on the meter that's going out 
and it's a loop of current and I'm going into the normal voltage ohm input right here because it's less than 10 amps and I'm on the 500 milliamp hour scale so if you look at the 5 or the, five, the 50 scale right there and you see you go down 40, 30, there's 200 right there 200 milliamp hours is telling me of DC that's going in now if you're over you know, uh, if you're over 500 milliamps you want to go to the 10 amp scale and then you want to input it right here for the larger currents and of course the meter measures AC current, AC voltage, and you can see I've got it going across the mains right here, and I'm on 250 volts on the scale. And if you look at 250 volt scale, you can see it's sitting at about 120 volts AC. So it's very handy to measure AC voltages if you have up to 1,000 volts, and you can even go down to 10 volts, just pick the appropriate scale for what you're measuring. Here I want to give you a demonstration of a transistor testing. I do have an NPN transistor in there, and the HFE is showing, and you can see on the bottom scale right there, they've got HFE, and it's showing it's about 200. So that's the forward gain of that transistor. So it's nice to be able to test transistors, whether they're functional, and it does have um, PNP or NPN on there, so you're all set. So after testing, what do you think about the Vicor 3010 sold by Rushu brand? This meter works really nicely. Analog is nice to see. Sometimes you just want to have an analog meter, go back to old school technology. And with this transistor tester and all the settings on here, in this oversized, very accurate screen on here, get used to it again and it works really great. You'll be able to take all the measurements you need. I like that it's oversized. I love the color combination on here. It includes the batteries, so you're all set to use this out of the box. I'm going to give this product a full five-star rating. I hope this video review helped you with your buying decision. Thank you for watching.